okay so management and entrepreneurship development so now i am starting the first module management and planning okay so this is the content of first module okay in this module we are going to discuss about management and various aspects or fundamental concepts related to management okay it includes introduction meaning then whether management is science or art okay so then roles of a manager then levels of management okay so development of management thought and various approaches related to the management thought so that is we have discussed under management then we are also going to cover planning okay so nature importance and purpose of planning then objectives types of plans and steps in planning all these things will be discussed in this first module okay so this is the objective of module 1 that means why you are studying this module okay after studying this module uh, so what you have to you should you must be capable of okay you must be capable of doing uh, explaining the management concept purpose and hierarchy of planning okay this is the objective of the first module upon completion of this module you must be able to explain management concepts purpose and hierarchy of management okay next uh, importance of management already we discussed uh, why as mechanical engineers we have to study about management or why we should have knowledge of management so that we discussed in the previous class okay as mechanical engineers we are going to manage three ems but in this textbook uh, okay they will uh, they consider it as four ems okay four ems uh, in the previous class we discussed about three ems which are those Last class, so three M's. Okay, discuss what is there. Why are there those? Money, manpower. Ah, uh, manpower. Money. Management. Then. Management. Manpower, money. Material. Material. Okay. So in in the textbook, in the prescribed textbook. Okay, so they consider it as four M's. They will divide material into two things: material and ma machines. okay so they have also considered machines also okay so if you consider it as 3 ms uh, machines also comes under materials okay but in the textbook so they consider it as 4 ms money manpower and money manpower material and machines okay so other than that also Uh, management is not only about managing manufacturing sectors or manufacturing firms okay it is a very broader uh, broader concept and it is applicable everywhere from uh, classroom to your house okay in your house also i uh, someone is managing your house okay and everyone in the family is having uh, their own role okay everyone is playing a role in running the house okay similarly management is a very broader concept and it is applicable almost everywhere okay so now we will look into the importance of management in a broader sense okay management is a critical element in the economic growth of a country okay so do you agree agree with this point management is a critical element in the economic growth of a country yes sir yes sir oh you agree okay so then uh, who are managing uh, economy of a country yaar manage madtare sir as we know usually the budget will be done by the ministry of finance sir ah oh. there will be experts of uh, economics uh, and uh, they will do that uh, uh, budget sir they will prepare the budgets and it will be announced in the cabinet sir okay okay economy of the country will be managed by central government okay and economy of states 
are managed by state government okay so economy of a country will be managed by government and again in the government there are managers from uh, prime minister to ministers of a cabinet and in state there will be chief minister and again there will be a state cabinet okay so they are managing the economy of a country okay if they manage in a proper way there will be economic growth okay if they mismanage so there will be no growth or the growth may diminish okay so these are the consequences that's why whenever we are uh, choosing managers to manage resources of a nation we must be very careful otherwise okay so we will be in trouble if we don't choose good managers we will be in trouble okay next question is uh, how will you measure economic growth of a country ek measure martira gd gdp is the one among the parameters sir so gdp is one of the major parameter okay what is the full form of gdp ratan ratan yes, sir right i think gross domestic per capita okay so gdp is the gross domestic product product okay so now uh, what is the value of gdp for the previous quarter of our country anyone can answer what is the value of gdp for the previous quarter okay it will be announced after every quarter that means four times in an year after every three months so they will announce the value of gdp 4.7 huh 4.7 4.7 no incorrect any other answers 3.1 hmm 3.1 sir no previous quarter andre last recent ag announce madid value eshtu sir 5% no okay now okay so first we will understand uh, gdp uh, briefly okay suppose uh, it is not 5 5% okay it is uh, minus 23% minus negative okay so the gdp of our country now or during previous quarter is minus 23% it is announced by the central government itself okay now uh suppose okay consider the gdp okay so consider uh, minus 23% itself okay so the gdp of our nation is minus 23% how does it will affect on common man like we okay so gdp minus 23% anadu yenna indicate madutte what does that mean so anyone can answer what is the meaning of gdp minus 23% hmm okay so the meaning is during previous year okay so during uh, 2019 if i was able to earn 1 lakh okay so nanu ho varsha 1 lakh dudidine athwa 1 lakh nanige income itto ಈ ವರ್ಷ ಜಿ ಡಿ ಪಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆದರೆ ನನಗೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಇನ್ಕಮ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಅರ್ನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಇಫ್ ದಿ ಜಿ ಡಿ ಪಿ ಇಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ನಾನು ಒಂದು ಲಕ್ಷ ದುಡ್ದಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಐ ಅರ್ನ್ ಒನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇಫ್ ದಿ ಜಿ ಡಿ ಪಿ ಇಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಅರ್ನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಹೇಳಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ನಾನ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ವರ್ಷ ದುಡ್ದಿರೋದ್ರಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಈ ವರ್ಷ ಕಡಿಮೆ ದುಡಿತೀನಿ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಜಿ ಡಿ ಪಿ ಓಕೆ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಇಫ್ ದಿ ಜಿ ಡಿ ಪಿ ಆಫ್ ಮೈ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಈ ವರ್ಷ ಎಷ್ಟು ದುಡಿತಾ ಇದ್ದೆ ನಾನು ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಅರ್ನ್ ಇಫ್ ದಿ ಜಿ ಡಿ ಪಿ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಫೈವ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಓಕೆ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಜಿ ಡಿ ಪಿ ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆನ್ ಆನ್ ಆವರೇಜ್ ಓಕೆ ಜಿ ಡಿ ಪಿ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಇದ್ದಾಗ್
but if you consider uh, more than 130 crore population on an average okay most of them are going to earn less than what they earned during the previous year okay that is the relevance of gdp and it is going to measure that thing okay so now so we are in negative gdp means so we are heading towards a, a bad situation okay if the situation uh, doesn't change okay coming days are horrible okay so we are going to witness that okay next uh, so many have defined uh, the relevance and importance of management okay one such statement is by peter drucker okay without management a country's resources of production remain resources and never become production okay what is the meaning of this statement read this statement and interpret it what the what does this statement convey this statement again helta without management a country's resources of production remain resources and never become production roini roini so hmm read this statement and interpret what does this convey without management the country's resource of production remain resources and never become production uh, what does this mean without proper management the country's resources will be remained as resources uh... hmm again you are reading the sentence as it is what is the meaning ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ತು ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಮಾಡ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಏನೇನ್ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಹಾಗೆ ಉಳ್ಕೊಳ್ಳುತ್ತೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾನುಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಚರಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಮ್ಯಾನುಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಚರಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಡೆಡ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಅಡಿಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ರಾ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಟು ಫಿನಿಶಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಅಡಿಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ every country will be having its own resources okay if you add value to those resources then only so you can achieve positive gdp or you can achieve economic growth okay if you don't utilize the resources properly then uh, we can witness negative gdp and growth will diminish okay for example now we are in a economic crisis okay uh, who won nobel prize for economics swaminathan swaminathan amartya sen amartya sen sir after amartya sen during previous year recently who won nobel prize for economics hmm anyone can answer after amartya sen so another indian won nobel prize abhijit banerjee abhishek banerjee okay along with uh, okay so i think esther duflo okay abhishek banerjee and esther duflo shared nobel prize for the previous year okay so in india we have very good that that means we have globally acclaimed okay economic experts but so whether we are utilizing the available resource that means are we taking suggestions from these experts that is the question okay so our managers our managers means government has to consult experts it has to take experts opinion and their ideas and dash to implement them then only we can come out of this okay so trouble situation that is uh, we are witnessing the negative growth negative gdp okay so this is about management and its relevance to economic growth so that means even the economy of a country should be managed in a proper way otherwise okay nation will be in trouble okay so this will indicate uh, the relevance of management 
okay if there is no economic growth that will affect uh, job opportunities also that will result in unemployment okay so and then if there is unemployment in country that will affect all of us also including you and me okay so it will be having an impact next management is essential in all organized efforts be it a business activity or any other activity so that means management is not only related to uh, manufacturing sector it is not only related to mechanical engineers or it is not only related to production management is applicable almost everywhere okay including college including classroom including house okay including bank including government okay wherever uh, there are a set of people and there is an objective okay now to achieve that objective so management will play a vital role okay if you can if you simply can start thinking about management from your house okay so what is the objective of uh, the small firm called house mane iruttalva adu objective enagirutte mane illa ai jana ottige badukta idre so what is the objective okay every family will be having some objectives okay it may be uh, uh, to live in a peaceful manner okay without any uh, okay without any conflicts among uh, uh, people or members of the family okay or it may be uh, to earn uh, more income and so that they can have their own house and buy car and all those things or the objective may be to provide uh, good education for uh, children in a family okay like that every uh, family or every house or will be having their own objectives okay and again uh, every house will be having its own resources okay it, it may be in terms of assets or it may be in terms of money okay and uh, one or two in family are managing these resources it may be your father or it may be your mother okay they are the managers of your house okay after some times you also will become managers in few houses already you, you might have become managers okay so management is essential in all organized efforts be it a business activity or any other activity so any other activity like in house okay or any other activity may be managing a class okay so if you consider a classroom or this online class okay now i am the manager and i am managing 53 out of 53 only 30 35 are attending okay that means so this is also a part of management okay so now i have to think how i can include remaining who are not uh, attending in the classes okay that is the part of managing the available resources that means i have to manage 53 in the class okay so other organizations include educational organization that means school colleges social organizations then even military okay so th- that is also an organization then government that is also an organization okay every organization will will be having a structure will be having a management structure and it will be consisting of different levels okay even uh, if you consider malnad college of engineering Uh, it will be also a management that is mts is managing this college okay and there are members in mts and there will be a uh, uh, chairman secretary okay they are the managers of the institution like that every education institute will be having its own managers okay so even military also there will be a chief for military and there will be defense minister and there is defense ministry okay so all these are part of managing the military system in a nation or managing military force in a nation okay next management is the dynamic life giving element in every organization so that means if management is not doing its work properly or it is not okay so doing its role properly then uh, that organization will be in trouble okay it may be a nation or it may be any organization okay so the role of managers is very important if they, they don't manage the resources effectively then that organization will be in trouble so that's why management is the dynamic 
life giving so it will decide the survival of a firm or a company or an organization okay it will decide the survival if our managers are mismanaging then it will affect the, the survival of the organization itself okay it is applicable for the nation also if governments are not managing the wealth of the nation properly or resources of the nation properly then so there will be trouble in the nation okay so that may affect its survival also okay already we see in here in some of the countries okay so there will be a lot of trouble the lot of uh, violence okay so because of mismanagement by the the governments in those countries okay next in a competitive economy so that means we are now living in a globalized world so that means we have to compete with uh, other countries like we have to compete with china we have to compete with usa we have to compete with russia so in a competitive economy the quality and performance of the management determine the success of an organization indeed they determine its very survival as we discussed it will determine the survival okay next uh, before going to next slide now you can answer for your attendance i have created a poll okay in one minute you can answer for your poll after that i will continue the uh, lecture or this class okay so attend the answer maadi is it visible can see the polls yes sir okay eradu present antala ida yavadara ondakke id maadi ashta okay so next uh, there is a bonus activity okay so after completion of this uh, class uh, you can start answering for this bonus activity okay uh, you can answer till tomorrow okay so last date is tomorrow so in next slide there is a statement okay interpret the statement by cloud is george about management okay in next slide there is a statement about management you have to interpret that means Uh, what is its relevance what is the meaning of the statement okay what does it is what does it convey okay all those things you have to interpret okay so for this you, you can earn five bonus points maximum limit is 200 minimum you can i you can uh, explain or you can interpret even with the help of 20 words it is left to you but maximum words limit is 200 due date is tomorrow okay submission answering through forms on microsoft teams okay i will create uh, this question in forms on microsoft teams okay you have to type your answer in microsoft teams okay later i will evaluate so once uh, when i create a form on microsoft teams i will inform in whatsapp group okay later you can start answering for this question okay this afternoon i will create this in form you can answer uh, within tomorrow okay so this is the question you have to interpret this statement management is the central core of our national as well as personal activities and the way we manage ourselves and our institutions reflects with alarming clarity what we and our society will become okay this statement by claude as george should be interpreted by you okay even what in me an artha ito it is the important thing on that na you have to explain okay okay if you want any clarification regarding this activity you can ask otherwise i will move on to next slide okay artha ito lo helidu okay next uh, definition of management so first uh, before going to the uh, definitions of management okay so the first question is can we define management what is your uh, opinion can we define management hmm?
मोहम्मद ताफिम सर हाँ कैन यू डिफाइन मैनेजमेंट सर हाँ देन नाउ विल यू डिफाइन मैनेजमेंट सर इट इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ डिजाइनिंग एंड मेंटेनिंग प्रोसेस ऑफ डिजाइनिंग मेंटेनिंग हाँ एंड कन्वर्टिंग द रिसोर्सेस इनटू यूजफुल प्रोडक्ट्स हाँ दैट इज अ डेफिनेशन ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस हाँ मैनेजमेंट ओके पंचाक्षरी हिरेमठ पंचाक्षरी हिरेमठ इलवा सो इफ यू डोंट रेस्पॉन्ड आई विल मार्क एब्सेंट पंचाक्षरी हिरेमठ सचिन एस सचिन हेलो हाँ कैन वी डिफाइन मैनेजमेंट सचिन ओके सो वी कैन डिफाइन मैनेजमेंट बट द क्वेश्चन इज डू All will accept that definition of management. Okay, now I will define it for you. That is universally whether that will be accepted by all. That is the question. Okay. So the problem is most many experts have already defined management, but so those definitions are not accepted universally. Okay. So there is no definition of management which is accepted universally. okay so that means in summary there is no universally accepted definition of management but there are definitions some of the definitions uh, are popular okay so though they have some limitations they are popular but there is no universally accepted single definition of management okay so that is about can we define management next uh, do we have an universally accepted definition of management no we don't have universally accepted definition of management okay we will consider a few definitions first one is management is the art of getting things done through people okay management is the art of getting things done through people okay so if management is art uh, do you think management is not science मैनेजमेंट आर्ट अथ सैंस आर्ट अथ सैंस संजय बीटी संजय संजय बीटी ओके इफ यू डोंट रिप्लाई आई विल मार्क एब्सेंट So yeah, land. At least we should say yes. Navina. Hmm. Navina. Okay. In this statement, Mary Parker defined management as management is the art of getting things done through people. So that means. Uh, there is human resource in every organization so management is how effectively you can get work done from by work done from them okay so that is the role of management okay manager is one who contributes to the organization's goals indirectly by directing the efforts of others not by performing the task himself okay the role of manager manager kelsa anandre ಬೇರೆಯವರಿಂದ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿಸೋದು ಬೇರೆಯವರಿಂದ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ಸೋಕೆ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಅವನೇ ಮಾಡೋದು ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜರ್ ರೋಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಓಕೆ ಇಫ್ ಸಮನ್ ಇಸ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಟಾಸ್ಕ್ ಅಸೈನ್ ಟು ಇಸ್ ಸಬಾರ್ಡಿನೇಟ್ಸ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ಈ ಇಸ್ ಆನ್ ಇನ್ಎಫೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜರ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿ ರೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜರ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಡನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಬೇರೆಯವ್ರು ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತ
ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗೋದು ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ವೇ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಹೇಗಾದ್ರೂ ಮಾಡಿ ಸೊ ಬೇರೆಯವ್ರು ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡೋಂಗೆ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ರೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜರ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕನ್ವೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿ ರೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜರ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಡನ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಸೊ ಬೇರೆಯವ್ರಿಂದ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿಸ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಅವನೇ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗ್ಬಾರ್ದು ಓಕೆ ಬಟ್ ದೆರ್ ಆರ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೇರಿ ಪಾರ್ಕರ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ಆಸ್ ವಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಶಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಆರ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಬಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಆರ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೋತ್ ಆರ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಆರ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ಟ್ಸ್ಗು ಸೈನ್ಸ್ಗು ಏನು ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಸೈ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆರ್ಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಸೈ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಡಸ್ ದಟ್ ಕನ್ವೇ ಹ್ಞೂ ಯಾರಾದರೂ ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಹೇಳಿ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಅಥವಾ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಅಥವಾ ಆರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಮ್ ಹೇಳಿ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ಅನ್ ಆರ್ಟ್ ಸರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ವ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಸರ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಂಬಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೋತ್ ಆರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಸರ್ ಓಕೆ ದೆನ್ what is the art part in management and what is the science part in management sir the leadership qualities and uh, social adaptability all these things are uh, arts uh, mm-hmm. related sir mm. and uh, the calculations uh, involved in it uh, related to science sir okay next uh, the question is what is science science sir using of scientific method sir using of scientific method okay by using scientific method what you are going to achieve iga experiments la lab laboratory experiments la conduct maartira alva adrinda yen achieve maartira neevu result ah results sir quality quality problem solving and decision making problem solving decision making so that means uh, in science we are going to acquire knowledge okay new experiments conduct maartira adu result barutte aa results na you are going to interpret by that you are acquiring some knowledge you are gaining new knowledge okay you know experiment maadi nimge hosa observations enara kaanisidare with the help of that you are gaining some knowledge okay so that is this about science whereas arts means it is the application of knowledge okay arts deals with application of knowledge science deals with acquisition of that knowledge and then you experiment madado or through observations you are uh, acquiring knowledge okay that process is science so the application process application part of that science is arts okay so the limitations of mary parker definition are it uses the word art in defining management art deals with the application of knowledge management is not merely application of knowledge but means uh, it is half truth okay so there is application of knowledge but that is not enough okay management is not merely application of knowledge it also involves acquisition of knowledge that is science okay management based on intuition is not correct management okay uh, what do you mean by intuition intuition and rain no? really prajwal prajwal mg prajwal okay if you don't respond i will mark absent richin richin or oh, so it's the ability to understand something what do you mean by intuition the uh, it is the ability to understand the particular ah uh, uh, understand particular problem yes sir actually intuition means uh, taking decision randomly 
ಓಕೆ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಓಕೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಯಾರಾದರೂ ಏನಾದರೂ ಸಿಟ್ ಬರ್ಸಿದ್ರೆ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ ಆಗಿ ನೀವು ಅವನಿಗೆ ಹೊಡಿಯಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋದರೆ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಆಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸಡನ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಎನಿ ರೀಸನಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಎನಿ ಅನಾಲಿಸಿಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿ ಆಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಅನಾಲಿಸಿಸ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ರೀಸನಿಂಗ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ರ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಡಮ್ ಡಿಸಿಷನ್ಸ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಅನಾಲಿಸಿಸ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ರೀಸನಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಮಿಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜರ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಡಿಸಿಷನ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ರ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕಾ ಇಂಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡಿಸಿಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಡಿಸಿಷನ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಮಾನಿಟೈಸೇಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ಡಿಮಾನಿಟೈಸೇಷನ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ಡಿಸಿಷನ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ನೋ ದಿ ಕಾನ್ಸಿಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆರ್ ಆರ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೂವ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಡಿಸಿಷನ್ ವಾಸ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆರ್ ಆರ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೂವ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಡಿಸಿಷನ್ ವಾಸ್ ಇನ್ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೋ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿ ಜಿ ಡಿ ಪಿ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಡಿಮಾನಿಟೈಸೇಷನ್ ಟಿಲ್ ಡೇಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಡಿಕ್ಲೈನಿಂಗ್ ಟ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಕನ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟಿವ್ ಕ್ವಾರ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನದರ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೇಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೇರಿ ಪಾರ್ಕರ್ಸ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಥ್ರೋ ಲೈಟ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜರ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ ಡಿಫೈನ್ಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಆರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ Uh, work done by people okay but it is not defining what are the functions of a manager okay so what are the functions of a manager manager functions in an onion to some other people what are the functions of a manager sir required fund has to provide a required fund uh, then and he also play the role of leader sir ah uh, he will lead uh, then planning hmm hmm heli sir remove the roadblocks Plan. according hmm. to the project sir hmm remove the roadblocks roadblocks okay sir finance and budget management okay okay so investment uh, various functions uh, from planning organizing okay directing and controlling okay these are the four functions of manager okay so whatever you told uh, that is our uh, budgeting and uh, okay uh, and uh, getting finance all those things comes under organizing organization of available resources human power money and all those things that is also one of the function of the manager that means uh, he has to plan then he has to organize the available resources then he has to direct then after that he has to control okay these things are ma- not mentioned in this definition by mary parker okay that is the uh, d mary okay so i will continue the next uh, definition in next class okay so uh, i am referring this textbook principles of management okay and uh, in order to understand uh, gdp and its value and what are the uh reasons for uh, decline in gdp and how uh, we can overcome it we can watch this video okay there is a youtube video later i will share this link with you if you are interested to learn or if you are interested to understand uh, about gdp in a broader way okay you can watch this uh, youtube video later okay i will try to share it in whatsapp also uh, okay later when i share ppt with you okay i will uh, give all recommendations i will list them you can later also you can watch okay so i will uh, stop this class if you have any questions or if you want to ask anything you can ask now otherwise i will uh, wind up this session you have a question ha 